G'day punters, welcome back to the MacBet Early Move where each week we're giving you an overview on the Brisbane Saturday feature races and who we're tipping. We got a massive result last week with Ballistic Boy, got backed in from about $2.60. Joining me as always, pro punter John McLeod. John, how are you going? Hi, James. We've got the chocolates and first, our first uh, run at this on a Thursday or Friday, whatever we did it, and uh, yep. we've got the money, so hopefully we can keep it going. First up, absolutely. It's the early move. That's why we do it. I think it was sort of 260 backed in, which is really good to see it. Were you nervous in the run? It sort of just ground, it, ground down the other runner late. The one question was whether it was still going to have the ping in its leg second up. Because sometimes it just, um, after its first up run, it just doesn't, they don't, um, you know, show that turn of foot, especially stayers. It was, you know, he's a mile of 2,000 metre horse. So there was a possibility that he might become a little bit more of a grinder. But, um, you know, he showed a good turn of foot. The horses, I know before the start of the preparation last time, I was thinking that it was the best Brisbane horse. And, yeah, for um, sure. and it was disappointed us in the first one or two runs or three runs, and then all of a sudden it just uh, come to its own. So you know, he's, he's going to keep on improving the horse. I think it's a really good result, and I think you made it the best bet of the day as well. Six units on. We'll quickly we're talking off air, but we'll quickly talk about uh, Hong Kong last night. Pretty encouraging results. We sort of ran well, encouraging second and third in every race. It doesn't feel great. But um, some good odds in the prices are right. You were mentioning you made a couple of changes there with Brad. Yeah, we sat down on Monday, and Tuesday because we, you know, we weren't happy with it. You know, it, it sort of, um, it just wasn't going the right way. We made a few changes a couple of months ago, and um, uh, we had to go back to that starting point and then make a few changes from there. And from what I seen last night um, on the prices that they finished up and everything. Um, we, uh, I'm extremely happy with it from, you know, going from a situation where you're not happy at all with it, and it's, it's a problem, to yeah. just liking what you see. It, it just gives you, it, it gives you something that you're comfortable with as far as putting your money on, you know, because yeah. when you're backpedaling you, you, and you're not comfortable with what you, what's happened the last couple of weeks, you're thinking, oh, is this right? Is this right? But yeah, now, for sure. Um, you know, you just got to get that confidence. Confidence is everything in what you're doing and what you're seeing. And if you haven't got it, you, uh, you know, it's just points. So you're just going backwards, yeah. It's hard to hit anything yeah. with without any confidence. So um, we'll yeah. jump into the preview of this weekend. Race 8 at Doombin, we'll talk about first. We're doing two races today, which is great. Uh, the Horovian headlight as the uh, favourite there at $4.60 on Sportsbet. Others in the market are Red Chase, Emerald Kingdom, Socks are gone. They're all around the $6 mark. What did you make of this race, John? I know the Horovian's been a, been a tricky horse for us in the past. <laughs> yeah, he beat, um, he beat a horse of uh, Van Dyke's a couple of runs ago. I didn't think he'd be able to do it, but yeah. I don't think he can do this this time. I, I really think that um, the 13.50, I think this could be more like a barrier trial for something. He's gone from a mile back to 13.50. He might yep. have an 1800 meter race coming up, you know, in a couple of weeks, or, you know, he, he's more of 1600, 2000 meter or so. There must be something coming up. So I'm thinking the 1350, he just might drift back a little bit here. I think this track could play very leaderish. And because we've got great weather, it's hot and it's going to just dry this track out. And they're going to be uh, on a fast track on, say, Saturday. So leaders are going to come to the court. So I'm against the road here, that's for sure. Yeah. And uh, on top, you, I can see you've got Soxagon. There's a pretty confident sort of bet there. We won't talk units here. The subscribers will get the units on a, on the Saturday morning as part of their subscription. But um, yeah, you're tipping Soxagon pretty strongly here. It's about seven dollars. That a bit of value. Yeah, I think it's going to be very hard to beat. It went good the other day on, on a in a race that they ran track record, and uh, you get to go back from the gate. Whereas today, you get the good gate, and you're posy up. You know, fourth, maybe fifth, and on the fence there, and just going to get the perfect run. Um, good Robbie on, so that's that's a little bit of a positive as well. So uh, I'm uh, I'm happy to back it, and I think Emerald Kingdom is the leader. I just I, when I noticed him in the yard the other day, I I thought, oh my god, you know, this horse just falls to bits. He sweats up, he carries on, and but I did remember from a few, a year or so ago when I went down there, I, I said the same thing. So he does it all the time and he does yep. it quite well. So, um, you know, he's going to be the leader. He's going to be, 
he's going to be hard to run down. And I thought if Ruffy Stampy had a little hope of big odds, he's going to get third in the fence, I would say, and he's going to be right there. So they're the three I'm looking at, for sure. For sure. And you said good Frad on board. Is that because he's up on the speed? You're happy with him up there? I, I do. I think uh, bad Frad is back, good Frad forward. So it's, uh, it's uh, when he's, when he's uh, got his ears pinned back to go forward and he's, and he's looking to go forward, he's hard to get around. That's for sure. He's, uh, he's um, you know, I don't... I, you know, I would say he's the one I want to be on out of all the jockeys at the moment. He's the one I want to be on with, you know, just because he's going forward. I think we said it a, um, a couple of weeks ago is that, you know, when everyone dropped off him, he still had that ability and everyone dropped off him. And then I said, he might come to his four now. He just he might just start turning things around and everything. And I think he has. You know, You're right. You said hands on. <laughs> And you said we'd be getting a better price about him and that we are, which is really good as well. It's funny, you go back, the evidence is there on our Facebook if you want to um, have a look there. But uh, the main on top tip there is Soxagon. That's Doom in race eight, number six. Should be about $7 at the moment. We'll jump into race nine, the Spirit of Boom Classic. Looks another open race. Jaden Tom, $4.80 favourite. Uh, Jamie Lady, Blazing Miss are all up there in the market. What did you think about this race, John? Keen to back to Jaden Tom. I think the horse is flying, he's turned it around. He's just a, a, a horse that I can't believe the improvement. From my figures, he's improved from last preparation around about four to five lengths. Right. And uh, you know, I just think um, he's positing up well and it's going to be very hard to beat. Just a nice horse. Mm. Just seems to keep winning, Jaden Tom. It's knocked me out of a couple of quaddies from memory as well. Um, the main danger you've got here on the sheet, Blazing Mist. Thoughts on that runner? It's going, to be, it's going to get into nice spots from Sydney. I, I, you know, again, I struggle with these horses coming up from Sydney to here, but uh, just to kind of match the market, I, I think he's got a chance. He's my Sydney, I hate that three. Um, that's something that's negative, but I do want to say that I just think that he's going to get into it. So I, I'm happy to bet in this race. Fantastic. So out of the out of the sort of four or five runners we've mentioned there, you'd say um, Jaden Tom would be the standout. Yeah. I think um, he's a nice price. But the other one's a good price. Obviously, $7. That's a yeah. great price. I'm very happy to be nice. Okay. Looks like a really good card there at Doom and on Saturday, and you're going to be there at the track? I am. Um, I'll be there Saturday, and I'll be at Kilt Corey on Sunday. Looks like a great day. We'll have uh, sheets up on the website on the weekend. Feel free to message us, guys, if you've got any questions about the service at all, and uh, keep an eye out on our Twitter for updates uh, throughout the weekend. Good luck, John. All right. Thanks, James. Sweet. Talk Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Cheers.